what's up y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be freestyling a set on myself i did only record one hand because i'm not about to make a fool of myself on camera and even attempt to do the other side because i struggle doing my left hand so well actually doing my right hand i'm sorry with my left hand so I'm just going in and putting some tips on. I'll leave the link to everything I'm using down below. And I am going in with stiletto tips. I love these tips because I personally like stiletto and coffin shape. And this is the easiest way to get either one. They're not cheap or they don't bend easy at the tip, which will allow me to get a precise stiletto shape. So I'm just going in adding my tips. I want to apologize in advance if you guys hear any traffic or anything. I am drinking a Gatorade, so you may hear that. And my doors are open and I do live in the city. So there's no telling what you will hear doing this voiceover. But like I said, I'm just going in adding my tips. I'm using crazy glue. I don't like crazy glue. I really want to try the KDS glue everyone is talking about. But I have to finish with what I have first before I buy any more. And then I just went in with some nail glue dryer to dry down that glue. I'm going to cut my stiletto shape with my scissors. I know I can also use like a nail cutter, but I find using scissors gives me a more precise shape. I have more control over what I'm doing. So, I'm going in with my scissors. Now, normally when I'm not on camera, I really do get a nice, precise stiletto shape. I don't know if it's because I was recording, but you know how when you're doing something and you know somebody watching, you don't do your best. I don't know what's up with that, but we just want to ignore that. I do have a crooked nail. I will point it out once we get there. It's not really noticeable, but I notice it. I still have this set on. I'm gonna rock it because they came out so cute.
here I'm just going in with my Young Nail Wipe to further clean off the dust from falling. While I was doing this, I noticed that that nail was crooked, but I just kept it pushing. I could have took the nail off and refiled, but like I said, I filmed this when it was late in the night. Now I'm going in with a Young Nail Primer just to prime my nail, prep it, get it ready for acrylic. So I just pulled out a bunch of different acrylics. 90% of what you see here is custom made. If you are interested in it, I still will link that down below. I did not know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted something pink with a neutral color and maybe some gold. I'd wind up not using the gold, but like I said, it was a freestyle. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I like how it came out. So I just went over each nail with some clear acrylic because like I said, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I like to lay down a thin layer of clear just in case I decide to keep the nails on. And I'm, when I do a refill, I don't have to take them all off. And if I was going in with like a color, I didn't want it to stain my real nail bed. So that's why you see me going in with a clear base on each of my nails. So for my thumb, I went in with a custom made milky white and I was just going to leave this nail white, but I was like, no, let me add something to it. So like I said, I did go in with the milky white and as you can see, I use a really wet brush. My problem is I use so many different acrylics. Some of them you really have to go in with a wet brush and then some you don't. So I'm still learning and trying to remember which acrylics those are. This Milky White is one that I made personally, but I'm so used to going in with a wet brush so that I'm not stuck with hard acrylic. So, you know, that is just something that I'm used to doing. I'm working on that. Trying not to flood my cuticle. So, going in I try to get the application as smooth as possible so I don't have to do a lot of filing and I like to use smaller beads I know everyone does the three bead method sometime I can do that but for the most part I like to have control of the product that I'm using so I don't put standards on myself like I have to use three beads or two beads or you know whatever I like to pick up a small amount and pat it out or you know do my own thing because like I said I still am learning I'm sure with time, I'll get better with having a method like, oh, I only use two beads or, you know, whatever. Here, I'm going in with a pink glitter acrylic. This is so pretty. This is a custom acrylic I made. It actually has like, like maybe medium-sized white stars, but I didn't dig down deep inside the jar because I didn't want to pick up any of those because... I knew I took out another custom acrylic that I made and it had hearts in it, so I didn't want hearts and stars. So that looks so cute. I'm glad I went over top of that with that. And then here is like one of my favorite glitters that I made. Um, this is like iridescent, clear hearts, sheer like with pinky hearts and then like a really pink iridescent heart along with some other type of glitter in it. It's so cute. And this glitter is really easy to use. I wanted to make it so it's like beginner friendly. So if you're watching this and you are interested in doing your nails, this is a good acrylic to use because I can pat it on versus I don't have to make a bead to put that acrylic on. Look how pretty it is. So from here on out, the nails are pretty simple. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me do my nails and I'll come back.
here I'm going in with some clear acrylic to encapsulate all of that glitter I put down. I do this so when I go into fall, I don't disturb anything that I put down. I know from here it looks dull, but don't worry. Once we get done falling and buffing and we go in with our top coat, it'll bring the shine right back. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit.
So after I put my top coat, gel top coat on, I just went in to cure that. And then I am going to go over my nail with some oil. And we are finished. I'll show you what it looked like. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and comment some more videos you would like to see. I have a nail supply vlog coming up. And I also have another custom acrylic video coming up. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate the support to my channel. And I'll check you guys out in my next video. Bye.